Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Afro Reviews. Instead of doing a classic movie review this week, I thought about doing a modern movie review on David Fincher's Mank. Earlier this year, I wrote my thesis on the comparison between Orson Welles' Citizen Kane and Oliver Stone's Natural Born Killers. Both films attack their contemporary media for similar common reasons, such as greed and corruption. When I researched information about Citizen Kane, I utilized Pauline Kael's Raising Kane as a source for the essay. Kael suggested Wells did not play a major part in the development of the screenplay. For Wells fanatics, Mank will most likely be insulting to them because of the way the film portrays Wells. Once audiences view Wells for the first time, it is clear the screenwriter Jack Fincher, David Fincher's father, believes in Pauline Kael's perspective. Unlike what most critics express, Mank is far from a love letter to Hollywood and more of a condemnation against the studio executives and businessmen due to their greed and corruption. With this subtext, Mank is also a tragic character study of one man's destruction and loss through uh, alcoholism and adultery. Like Citizen Kane, Jack Fincher composes Mank as a nonlinear structure. As one would expect, Gary Oldman is excellent as a Herman J. Mankiewicz because he captures the wit, intelligence, and sorrow of the late screenwriter. There are also superb performances from Amanda Seyfried as Marion Davies, Charles Dance is William Randolph Hearst and others. From Seven to Gone Girl, David Fincher continues to display his gifts in finding the spirit of the narrative. Visually speaking, Mank is one of the most beautiful films of the year. From the period decor to the black and white coloring, Fincher creates a film of the time it takes place, yet it does not conform to a myriad of film references. The only flaw in Mank is Orson Welles' thin characterization. While the movie is a compelling argument for Mankiewicz's credit, Fincher's idea of Wells is more super superficial than the real Wells. If one observes interviews or read, reads articles about the late filmmaker, Wells is intelligent and articulate, yet Fincher's Wells is just an egotistical, demanding pawn for the mainstream industry. However, Mank is such a fascinating film, and this one fault is minor considering the amount of time Wells is in it. While it might not be the masterpiece many desire, Mank is an affecting work of art from a bold master. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.